Right now I want to show you around the mapping function of the Garmin Montana 600 series. The unit is currently in recreational mode. So let's just click on map. You can see here it's pretty basic. There's not a lot of street detail in the area I'm in. That's because it's preloaded with main roads and freeways. It doesn't have the uh, really low street detail without external mapping or additional mapping. So let's take a look here. I have the micro SD card installed which fits in behind the battery in the battery pack here and I currently have it disabled so let's turn that on go back to the map and you can see here it pulls up all of the street level data in my area so now you can see that I've got all this area I can auto route around between point A and B next I'm not real happy with the way the screen's showing up uh, with the details I've got available. I've just got a plus and minus which is zoom in and out. I've got the map function uh, here and then I just have an exit button which takes me out of the map. So let's make this look more like a Garmin Nuvi. Set up map. Okay, dashboard. That's what the map is showing in. It's the dashboard for the map. There's Nuvi. Click on it. Let's go back. Now we have a unit ready to auto route and be used just like a Garmin Nuvi would. I have my heading here, driving S for south. I have my speed and then I have ready to navigate along the top. And each of these three things brings up a different screen when I click it. So let's start. This is the heading. Uh, select a field to replace heading. I have elevation, heading and time of day. So I can change that however I want and the button down here changes relative to the, the function I've got going on there. So time of day. But let's go back to heading. Next we have down here speed. That opens up the trip computer for the unit. Now in the trip computer it has its own little menu and I can change different functions within the trip computer. I have big numbers. Let's click what that does. So it takes you back to two, num uh, two fields rather than six. I can go back to small numbers. Next we have change dashboard. What that means is, is I can change a f part of this field. That's this. This is the dashboard within this trip computer. So let's change dashboard. Maybe you want the compass. Now you can see here this part of this field or screen has changed to a compass. But change the dashboard back. I like automotive, which shows me the information I like here. Next we have lock field data. So I can lock these fields and I can't change them unlock and then we've got restore defaults so it takes you back to where it was so now I have these six fields what do I want in them these are the six the Garmin pre uh, designed for you so you know this is the basic ones that most people want well I want to change it I don't want overall average here I want sunrise time there we go I've just changed that field there to show the data that I want it to say not what's been preloaded by Garmin so that's how you can edit this trip computer page and uh, get it exactly how you want it now I'll just point out here let's go back out of this map and let's go to our drawer right here I have trip computer and you'll notice it brings up exactly the same screen so there's two ways to get to that trip computer so let's go back there's our map now at the top here the ready to navigate is also a button and because it's not navigating it's not showing me any detail but what it will show you when you do navigate is each turn as it comes up in your uh, route that you've created so that is how you use the mapping function as a Garmin Nuvi on the Garmin Montana 600 series